Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a review on the L'Oreal Color Rich Le Gloss Lip Gloss, and mine specifically is in Watermelon Crush. Um, I pulled up the L'Oreal website on my cell phone, and I was just going to go ahead and read what the website says, and then kind of give you my opinion on actually using it as the, um... I guess customer or whatever you want to call me. Okay, so basically what the website says is that the features are Discover our richest shine indulgence for your lips. New color rich lay gloss is infused with ultra hydrating omega-3, protective vitamin E, and argan oil with our richest shine experience yet. Wear alone or wear over your favorite shade of color rich lip color to customize your look. It says it's available in 16 sensual shades from our deepest plum to crystal clear. Um, it basically just says the innovations and ingredients, science behind the beauty infused with ultra hydrating omega-3 and conditioning vitamin E, color rich lip gloss keeps lips moisturized, soft, and supple. Um, and it gives like a list of all of the different ingredients that's in the actual lip gloss. Basically, there are a lot of shades of this lip gloss. When I went to the store, I did see a lot, but I think online says that there's a little bit more lip gloss than there really is um, available in the stores, or at least where I went, I got this at Target. So basically, the colors that the website says it has, it has Naturally Nude, Mystic Mauve, Red Ravishing, Nude Touch, Raspberry Splash, Nude Illusion, Blushing Berry, Saucy Mauve, Really Rosé, Violet Attitude, Watermelon Crush, which is the one that I have, Chocolate Obsession, Baby Blossom, Golden Splash, Peach Fuzz, and Plum Rush. Those are the colors that the website says that it has. Um, so I can't say that I know what the other colors look like. I just saw the couple that I saw at Target. So anyways, on to my review of this product. I ended up picking up this product because I saw an ad for it in the newspaper. Um, it was in like the coupon clippings. I saw an ad for it. So I went ahead and I picked it up. And basically, I thought it said low gloss, which is really funny. It says lay gloss. But like when I saw the ad in the newspaper, I thought it, it had like a picture of JLo next to it. So I was like, JLo came up with her own gloss. Like it was, I thought it was low gloss, but it's lay gloss. Um, I think they purposely tried to keep out like the little line to make the E. I think they purposely did that so that people thought it was like a JLo lip gloss. But anyways, um, I ended up picking this lip gloss up just from sheer, you know, advertisement. So not the best reason to pick up a lip gloss, but hey, they did their advertising properly. Um, and I actually like this lip gloss. Immediately I had Preston smell it because I usually won't wear lip gloss when I'm going out with him because, you know, if you give like the cute little kisses or whatever, like you don't want your lip gloss now on their lips. It just looks funny. So I was like, do you mind if I get it? Like, do you like the smell of it? Blah, blah, blah. So he smelt it and it smells, he says it smells like cake which I guess he is pretty much right. It's like a vanilla warm cake smell. What this reminds me of as far as the look aspect is it reminds me of their L'Oreal Hip, um, the little, the balm things, the little, it came in the little can. I can't really remember what it was called, but it was like a tinted balm and it just, like I said, came in this little canister. And um, I know it was really big a couple years ago and this reminds me of that, but in a like tube. So maybe that's what they're going for, but honestly, every time I've looked at my lips when I have it on, that's what it reminds me of. Now. There's a lot of lip glosses that are good in like different lighting situations. I've noticed that this one's like, when you're inside, you can't see it as well, especially with the lighting that I have in my place. I don't know, for some reason, I can't see the lip gloss. But when I go outside, it's like, bam, you just see like, you see gloss and you see like a little bit of the color and just, it does give you a little bit of a color, but it does give you a lot of gloss. You will see, you'll just see, bam. So this is more of a lip gloss that I would recommend for natural lighting, like outside if you were going to do a photo shoot or I don't know, just anything. This would be a better lip gloss for outside. Now as far as the color, I think the color is absolutely beautiful. I don't know, the camera's not even coming close to picking it up properly. This is like a Barbie pink color, like a hot, hot, hot pink color in here. And I just went ahead and I went for it because I know these kind of lip glosses are so sheer anyway, there'd be no reason to... Think that I'm gonna have these hot pink lips so I got it anyway and um, I actually like it I like the color it comes out very sheer when I went out today I ended up getting a iced coffee which you guys can actually see that video I'm gonna be posting a um, vlog of that but anyways I went and I got an iced coffee today and on the straw you could see the lip gloss the color of the lip gloss so that's kind of annoying but in the same sense like at least I know that some pigment color is going on to my lips so it's not just completely sheer um, other than that I think it is a good gloss. 
As far as sticky, it is more on the thicker side. I can't say it's sticky, but it is a very thick gloss, so it does last a long time. I did, like I say, drink with it, and it did keep lip gloss on my mouth. Some went onto my straw, but, you know, a lot of it stayed on to my lips itself. So it is a good, long-lasting lip gloss. It does stay on your lips. It is a very thick one. Um, for those of you ladies who have a boyfriend, you're giving him little butterfly kisses or whatever, it does put some lip gloss onto them. Like, when I gave him just, like, a little kiss just to see if it would, you know, transfer from my lips to his it did he looked like a girl and it was funny and I liked it I didn't want to tell him that he looked like a girl but I did anyway just to, uh, look out for him but um, it does you know transfer so do be careful about that for those of you guys who do want to pick it up I would recommend checking out lot yesterday's newspaper I ended up seeing there's a coupon in there for Target for a dollar off and also if you guys have any past coupons or you can find any online you can do that Target will accept one manufacturer and one store coupon so that's what I did I had a two dollar off L'Oreal cosmetic product um, that I had just like had in the past and then I had a dollar off from the Target coupon so I got three dollars off mine it originally is $5.99 at Target so I got mine for you know like just a couple bucks like three dollars so that's worth it to me so um, anyway that's all I have to say about the lip gloss if you guys have any other questions you guys know to go ahead and ask me and yeah so everyone have a great week and take care